I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him. And that's where you come in. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Ned Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <gasps> Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Ned Gallus is at Dumat Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. See you say that. But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The 
Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nevgalus and stop Solus. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. Then Nev will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus summoning demons on purpose? I guess as the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down to it, then the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Hardy, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. We grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Here they come. Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process.
We're sliding down. They're allies of Neb Gallus! Kill them all! timing Nev it's so good to see you we thought the Venatori had kidnapped you they thought the same thing a lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me figured I'd play along find out who wanted to settle the score this time then the sky started raining demons so I'm back on the job appreciate it Rook this is Nev Gallus our local expert she's gonna help us find solace Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. Catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself. What's the plan? He wants to bring down the Veil. Vale. 
Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. <laughs> Solus too. Looks like the Venatori also found it, and then demons found them. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Manrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Solus said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. More demons. 
There must be a way to open it. Let's look around. Air is full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Solus, the Dreadwolf, Ben Harrell. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. like that opens something below. Then let's have a look. <laughs> this the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook? It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He... Well, we're not in Minrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Back in Minrathus. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it.
have to stop this demon quickly. <laughs> Let's get to Solus. Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. Demons off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize them. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. Need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. 
The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Ned. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! Right! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Yeah! You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? 
Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the Blighted Elven Gods walk free. Thanks to me? I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... Quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? Listen. No! No! I have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it'd take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the feet. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus. But of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a Darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade, because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. Can't hurt. 
in theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. You're awake. And we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but... Dwarves don't dream. And somehow, I'm here. Yeah, it's... Unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should. But maybe look around a little? We might be here a while. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? While I was out cold, he showed up in my dream, and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. 
Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. Solas warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solas says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev, but the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. And let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that Alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 